Gratitude and Anthology is out. With over 50 different perspectives and stories on gratitude, this book captures what most books don't. The secret sauce is in the number of voices and stories where you'll be sure to find a personal connection to so many as I did. A really excellent book, David Freeman. Found exclusively on Amazon.com. Yeah, that's beautiful. I, uh, so I know a little bit more of the story. So let's let's continue because I want to I want you to share about the the journal or the the gift the gift yeah, yeah. that you created for your mother. Uh, the kindness, please. Uh, I love that story. So I'm gonna let you I'm just tee yeah. it up. Love to share that. So thank you. Um, so I mentioned so several different passions. One is sharing about you know your health and. and breast cancer awareness and getting getting screened and, and all of that. Um, but another one is helping to inspire kindness in the world and, um, you know, to help advance and accelerate. There's a, I feel like there's a global movement around kindness. And, um, and there's not a time, I can't imagine a time um, in history, not a big history thought, but I can't imagine a time in history where genuine kindness from the heart um, is not more needed. And, um, and, I, and I also, from my own history with my mom and my dad, um, I feel like they have provided me with um, a heritage of kindness and, and um, a legacy of kindness. And I want to, I, I want to help you know, others think about what is their legacy, too. We're, we're creating a legacy no matter what, right? So right. why not have it be intentionally legacy of kindness? Um, and so... My mom turned, um, when she turned 90, we had this big, wonderful community celebration, and, and it was delightful. And then I was trying to figure out what to do for 91, so where do you go from there? And so she was turning 91 in February of 2020, and um, in Christmas morning, I just, before that, I just had this, I don't know, I felt like a, a kind of a you know, divine, yeah, that's what we need to do. So I decided to do a um, kind of a kindness challenge and, and ask people to do an act of kindness um, in honor of my mom for her 91st birthday and then send it to me. Um, and then I would put it together in a book and then present it to her. And it just made sense because my mom is such a kind person. Um, and I, I don't know, I, th I thought it would just be something that would be really special. So I put out a, a request on, on Facebook um, and, you know, shared with some others, and I had no idea what the response was going to be. Um, but I, in, in the request, because there would be people reading it that didn't know anything about my mom, um, I shared about her, and I shared about um, uh, that she had been a school teacher for 30 plus years, and how many students that she had impacted, and, and she was the kind of teacher, um, it, I, I still, it's remarkable to think about it, so she was teaching fourth grade. I was in college, came home one summer, and one of the fourth grade um, boys in her class, um, his parents had split up recently, and his mom was working full time and was a bit overwhelmed in working in the divorce and being on her own raising her three kids. And Richard was this boy's name, cute little kid, freckles, uh, goldish brown kind of hair, just, just darling. Um, and he was starting to fall behind in school. And, um, and so my mom offered for the summer that um, Richard could come and stay with us during the week mm. while his mom was working. And um, she would help tutor him on the, the things that he was falling behind on. So his mom would bring him on Sunday night. He would be with us during the week. Um, and I'd always wanted a little brother, so it was perfect. And she'd come pick him up on you know Friday after work. And um, so that's the kind of teacher that she was, right? Um, just, so anyway, I shared a bunch of different things about her in, in making this request, and um, I didn't know what I was going to have coming in. And it, So I called it 91 Acts of Kindness Initiative. And it turned out there were um, people that were doing multiple acts, <laughs> and um, I think we got to 133 Acts of Kindness. And it was just really, really lovely. So here's the... Here's the book that I put together. Mm. Kind of got a light shining on that, right? Can you see that? Okay. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. yeah. So I had to end up putting it 91 plus X. Plus. Yeah, they were <laughs> Very still, creative. They were, they were still coming in. Um, mm. 
So there was everything from, oh gosh, um, neighbors of hers that talked to, you know, first of all, talked about her and her acts of kindness and how that she made them feel welcome in the neighborhood or when she would bring them a loaf of her amazing homemade bread that she would, mm -hmm. you know, the kind that you punch down and, and not use a, not a bread machine. She, it's just the old fashioned way. She just makes the, the best bread. Um, and she had, you know, people that didn't even know her, you know, I had a, a guy that I went to high school with that he never met my mom. So he submitted that he slipped a hundred dollar bill into the backpack of um, a homeless man in Salt Lake City um, without mm -hmm. him seeing it. And just, and just, you know, was thinking, imagine what, you know, what relief that might have been for him or the impact that might have had. Mm -hmm. um, she had neighbors. She lives in a gated community with mostly an older population. And she had neighbors talk about how they were, um, when they were making dinner um, for their for themselves and their, their spouse, that they would think about, you know, some of the neighbors that lived alone and didn't like to cook just for themselves. And so they would make extra food and mm. you know, take a meal over on a regular basis. Um, my friend, my friend Valerie, that's a best friend from the time we were probably 18 months old, um, and my mom inspired her to become a school teacher. Oh, wow. And so she teaches school. And, and what she did was, um, at the time she was teaching some kids that were really kind of struggling academically and with their reading. Mm -hmm. And so Valerie bought 10 books. I can't even remember what the book was, um, for 10 different students, um, mm -hmm. inscribed in the, the book, something about about how much she cared about them and the reason that you know this gift was coming on behalf of um, this wonderful school teacher that was retired and um, she wanted them to really have developed their love for reading and how that could open up the world for them. So she gave 10 books to 10 different students um, in honor of my mom's birthday. Um, there's a woman who I'm um, friends with, it's in North Carolina and she, she decided that she was just going to to take some different bills, you know, so like a, a 50 or a 20 or, you know, some tens and just randomly kind of share them with, with people and, and be completely unattached to how they spent it and just to, to help, you know, lift up um, their load a little bit and, and brighten their day. Um, one of the things that, that was really remarkable in, in um, one of the gifts that was given, there's a gentleman that's out of uh, California named Mark Affleck, and he has a, a blog post called Mark's Minute, and it's a daily blog, and um, it's his way of, it's his ministry, and it's his way of bringing um, people to thinking about God. And um, so I didn't even, I didn't even know that Mark had gotten a hold of this initiative, but on my mom's birthday, um, he did the blog um, around kindness and creating a legacy of kindness. Mm -hmm. And um, so on her very birthday, he's talking about a woman he's learned about, you know, um, in Utah, who's turning 91 today. Her name's Jean Hendrickson. And uh, the kind person that she is, the legacy of kindness that she's created, and she's passing that down to her daughter, Jenny Haas. And anyway, so just really talking about, thinking about creating a legacy of kindness. And on that day, so Mark's, so this is about a year and a half ago, so I'm sure that it's, it's grown. But at the time, Mark had um, just about 500,000 subscribers to his blog. Wow. And I think it was like 63 countries. I mean, it's just <laughs> like really, the reach was amazing. And, and um, you know, and not everybody reads a blog when it comes in or that you subscribe to, but that's still a lot of people that on her very birthday, and she's turning 91, that people are starting to turn their minds to kindness and to thinking about creating a legacy of kindness and am I doing that or am I, you know, am I focusing on making a difference in the world through kindness? So that, that just blew me away. That, that was, that was remarkable. So let me go with the 91 plus acts of kindness. It's like, it goes on and on and on and on. Right. Um, so I, so this write up, I just, I don't know. It was really meaningful. She has, um, she's hosted folks from teachers, um, from China and from Japan over the years. And so there were people from China that were sending acts of kindness that they were doing. Um, there were some folks that were in Australia. Uh, so it was just, you know, all over the world, 
these apps and these submissions. Really, really meaningful. So when I gave it to her, she was really touched and kind of blown away by it. Sure. <laughs> I can't even imagine. I can't even imagine what that would yeah. You are her, like. I yeah. I gotta, I gotta tell you one more because this is really touching too. So not only do we share our shared, you know, oncologic surgeon, right? We also share our, our dentist. He's oh. a dentist, <laughs> and um, and they absolutely love my mom at the dental office. We go on their website, and on her birthday one year, they have her with a bunch of balloons they presented. She's just a, a really delightful person, um, and has a impacts a lot of people's lives. And um, so my dentist, this was his act of kindness. And um, there's a woman that he knows that um, was single, I think she's divorced, really struggling financially, had some serious dental issues, but didn't have insurance and didn't have any money to take care of that. And so he did all her dental work at no charge mm. um, in honor of my mom's birthday. So think about the ripple effect of that, right? It's like, what does that mean? I mean, man, that's that's your health. That's maybe your self assurance. That's maybe feeling more confident to get a job, or, you know, it just it, the ripple effect the effect of kindness is amazing to me. Mm. So, so when I gave this to my mom, um, I went to two things. So one is um, I said. Happy 91st birthday, Mom. And um, just being dorky and hunky that I am. So here's the, yeah. So mm -hmm. like me, and <laughs> I love whatever it. Whatever that was. So, so the message to her was thank you for giving me my life, ultimately twice, as you know, for your love, for your example of service and kindness, for being my rock and showing me how to be a strong woman during difficult times, for your wonderful example of motherhood and of grandmotherhood, for going above and beyond for sharing your sense of adventure and interest in being a lifelong learner, for your sense of humor, which gets a little saucier with each year, which it does, and my kids find it delightful, <laughs> um, for your amazing homemade bread, jam, gravy, and banana cream pie, and for all the blessings of being your daughter. I can never thank God enough for that. I love you, Jenna D. And I signed it Jenna D because that's my given name. Oh, okay. So, so it's pretty much my mom and, you know, not very many others that, that ever call me Jenna D. Um, so she, like I said, she was really touched by it. And so she, um, wrote a letter to, for me to send to all the people that had contributed. And she said, um, wow, I am overwhelmed by this wonderful book that my daughter, Jenna D, parentheses Jenny, so people actually know who that is, envisioned. Your acts of kindness have inspired me to do more. So on Saturday, I gave a loaf of homemade bread to a friend who planned to serve a meal to her neighborhood friends that evening. The name of a wonderfully upbeat book, One Long River of Song by Brian Doyle, was passed on as well. We all need positive words and thoughts along the way. This Friday, several friends will sit at a table or sit at my table to share homemade soup and salad along with more of my bread. We will chat, of course, about our families, our hopes and dreams, and our ups and downs. Hopefully, each of us will leave the table with happy, positive thoughts and feelings. Other kind acts are working their way into my heart and mind. I intend to dedicate an act of kindness to each of you who have participated in this dream of Jenny's. We just need a listening ear, eyes to discern the needs of others, a voice to give comfort, hands to do acts of kindness, an open heart, and a strong will to do good. Thank you, my friends. God bless all of you. And then she signed it, The Birthday Girl, Jean Hendrickson. And so she actually decided not, not only to do an act of kindness for each of the people that contributed, but to do it to match act her act. So she would do 133 acts of kindness. Mm. So mm -hmm. this was, um, so the ripple continues. So this was, again, gave it to in February, COVID hits. So, you know, we're in lockdown. And um, our church had had a, a, a mission of doing early on, making 5 million masks uh, for healthcare providers when masks were very hard to come by. So she made 100 masks. Um, uh, she probably, she lost track. She stopped counting after she hit the mark, but at least 100 loaves of bread um, mm. were given to friends, family, and complete strangers. Um, you know, so she's, she's well well past the 133 apps and, and, and still going. 
And so, you know, so we see the ripple effect there. And then when I was doing the table host at uh, Kindfest USA, my mom was um, in a virtual room there, uh, you know, with us. And one of the guests happened to be that same person I shared with you about, Jim Anderson, who had helped me through much, you know, so much in my, my cancer journey and coaching me through that and, and how to really learn and grow from it and learn more about myself. And so Jim was in that the virtual room and he let me know afterwards that he had um, then been inspired that he was going to now do 133 acts of kindness. So every once in a while, I'll get a, a message from him about, you know, an act that he's done in, in his quest to do the 133 acts to, to match my mom's. So, yeah, mm. so that's one of those uh, the gifts that um, kind of keeps on giving just like what kindness does because... You know, even if it's a small act, I mean, I really don't think that there's a small act of kindness because um, it might take little effort or little time to complete something, but we have no idea what the impact, the ripple effect is going to have. And so even what we might consider a, a small act may have just ripple out to countless people and it can transcend generations. You know, it just, um, it's magical and powerful and um, so... That's the 91st birthday gift. <laughs> Thank you for sharing that again. I, I so loved hearing it. And, um, you know, you're, you know, at the end there, you're saying like small or big, it doesn't really matter. And I, I just think you just, you give such a great example of you just saying, putting a call out, asking, hey, I'm giving a gift to my mother. Let's do 91 things of kindness uh, in her name, you know, um, and, you never know what's going to happen, you know, and um, just because, again, that was your your kind act to your mom is you're like, I love my mother. I'm going to give her this gift. Let's see what we can do. Right. Mm -hmm. um, and wow. And then, like you said, what your thing in general just completely speaks to you never know what a little ask, a little kindness can do yeah. and like how that multiplies and continues to multiply. And it's even because we're talking about it right now, it's multiplying because you're sharing yeah. it with me. Yeah. Right. And we're yeah. partaking. And this is a moment of us you know, me hearing and you sharing, you know, these stories and kindness. Um, so it's amazing. I think that book, I, I mean, geez, you are, I can't, like I said, like, I can't even imagine the feeling between you and your mother, you giving her a gift like that with so much intention, emotion and people behind it and the real story. I mean, real stories of people doing things because you, have, you know, like kindness in her name for her birthday. That's just, mm -hmm. um, I can't even, wow. I mean, and what a brilliant tip to the hat to you. What a brilliant idea. Not only I know you are you saying what a creative again, uh, you know, what a creative way to think of this is my mother. What can I give my mother, which would be really cool and that she would love. What if we inspire some kindness in the world in her name? Like, that's so awesome. So I, I awesome. appreciate that. I appreciate the tipping of the hat, but I, I, I seriously I can't I can't take credit for it because um you know, I, there's been a couple of times, it doesn't happen often, but, you know, do you ever have those times that it, that it, that you know that an inspiration is coming through you and not, you know, it, it didn't come from my brain. It was just like a shoot. Yeah. And that was Christmas morning was, it was, you know, kind of remarkable with part of that, but it just, it felt, it was like this ding, 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 ding. That's, that's what it, that's what it is. So... I understand you don't take credit. I understand. I just, but you did do the follow through. So I'm going to give you a little bit of credit. I, 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 I understand. <laughs> I that. You're yeah. saying the creativity came from somewhere else, but you, you definitely, um, you acted on that creativity. So, um, which is, you know, inspired. Th this there you go. Inspired. There you go. Yeah. yeah. No, I'm with you now. I, but I, I think again, wherever the idea came from, um, the fact that you did that and it's out, it's now it's an idea. It's something for other people to think about, right? Just yeah. that. Yeah. Even if they don't want to do 91 because their mom's 91, maybe they want to do 20. Or what if somebody just said, how about I'm going to get five, I'm just going to ask five people, right? Because again, you don't know, when you put the call out, you don't know who's going to hear you. That's why you said you had 131. And that's just that initial wave, not your mom's wave and not the mm -hmm. waves that are coming from it. But, you know, um, just putting that call, I think it's brilliant. And then, like I said, putting a book together, that book's awesome. I, um, I think it's a, I'm just letting you know. I think minimally, you should at least me or have somebody assist you in making it an ebook. I'm just, I'm just letting you know if that's something you want to do. That's not because you already have. 
I can see the way it is. It's not very difficult. It's it's not a huge undertaking. Yeah. Is all I'm saying. If that's yeah. something, because I I feel like, just like me sharing gratitude and having videos and all this, you're mm -hmm. that's stories of kindness. People sharing kindness. They're all real stories, mere reflections, ideas for people yeah. to dig into, and that's and it it's a beautiful thing. So I'm just uh. Anyways, I just I I think it's really really beautiful, and I I think that I think people could. We get it out in the world, more people hear it, they can copy the, you know, take that idea and run with it. Yeah. <laughs> it can well, inspire you know, more. <laughs> yeah, I, I was actually on a call um, last week, one of the, a similar call to like, you know, the, the Zoom chat that, that you and I had that, you know, I've just been blessed with, with having these just amazing conversations with originally complete strangers, but finding that, you know, complete uh, kindred spirits, right? right. And, and I was sharing with him about, um, I, he wrote a book, I think the book is called Always Bleed With Love. And, um, and, or always, always leave with love or something like that. And, um, so I was sharing with him about this, this, uh, 91 acts of kindness. And he said, you know, my aunt is turning, he has an aunt that was turning, I think 90 coming up soon. And he said, I may steal that from you. And I said, absolutely, please do. And I am happy to provide you with kind of the template that I use. I mean, I'm happy to share. I can you know, send you the book. You can, if you want to get some ideas. But it was kind of, um, when I have shared the book, I changed it from, um, I took off the, the contributor's last names mm -hmm. because it was, right. you know, I, 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 I put, out, put out the request with this, you know, intent of this was just to be held close. And, right. and, I, and it was interesting that there are um, a few people, when I put out the request, they said, I, I really love what you're doing. I don't feel comfortable contributing because for me, um, I, I, I do my kindness, I do in, you know, anonymously, and I don't want to bring attention to it and things like that. And I totally get that. And I love being able to do just kind of acts that nobody knows about or, you know, you want to have it really come from the heart and not be like you're trying to get attention or it's, there's no agenda. It's just because you want to make a difference, right? Right. Um, but so, but I think that it really does help to, to witness kindness, you know, that, that's being done in the world because it helps to inspire you. It helps to inspire that ripple effect. And so I, I, I don't want us to hold it too closely. We don't want to brag about things, but we also don't want to hold it so closely that we're not, we're missing the opportunity to inspire and be inspired by others, if that makes sense. I know it totally makes sense. Um, I, I interviewed uh, another Jenny last year who wrote a book called, um, the happiness, what is it? The giving way to happiness, mm. I think it was called. And she interviewed, you know, really wealthy people about philanthropy and like, give, you know, mm -hmm. inspiring, you know, but it was, her thing was like, we were, we were discussing the same idea. It was like, well, it's good, obviously, to keep it to yourself. But when somebody does something really good, they inspire, allow people to know that's something they can do. So it's like, it's nice, obviously, to donate a lot of money to a cause. But if you don't, let people know you've done that, then they don't know that they can do it. You know, it's like, so I don't know. It's obviously it's the intention inside the head. I, I obviously, you know, I'm all about um, inspiring people to share what they're grateful for on a public platform because it allows the same thing. It allows people to experience that and shares down to the world. Mm -hmm. But I think, but speaking to the whole anonymous thing, if, for example, if I were to take like your friend doing this thing for his aunt, uh -huh. Um, you know, a part of that would be added like, okay, um, you know, you could either share what it was or just say, anonymously, I did one. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like, so it's check. It still allows somebody to be a part of it. Yeah. And you can even have in your little book go, so, and, you know, Chad from Michigan anonymously did one kind act for you. You know, yeah. so it's like, yeah. because, you know, so you can allow the person that doesn't want to say it, but they're still a part of it and they can still, you know what I mean? Like, I um, yeah, absolutely. In fact, the the friend from high school that um, about the hundred dollar bill, um, he didn't want he wanted to be anonymous. So in my mom's book, I just put um, um, anonymous and then a friend from high school. You know. Jennifer. Well, there you go. Yeah, you could flip yeah. it. You could tell the story yeah. and then go, look, I'm just going to put anonymous. That way, the only one's going to know is me, and that's not the you know, it's not <laughs> whatever's the easiest way, right? So you could yeah. flip a flip flop. It could just be anonymous only or share share the story with anonymous yeah. but um yeah. i think i mean the way we're talking like i feel like you got a template you could put together mm -hmm. i don't know if you i mean like pdfs people can download they could order the you know they could order the ebook like i think um i don't know i just 
if you ever want to explore like putting all that together or whatever that may look like, I'd, I'd be happy to explore that with you, especially. I really do think that book should be ebook. I'm just, I'll quit mentioning it. Just to let you know that when yeah, and if, that. when and if you want to explore that, we can do that together. Obviously, I have all the materials and the programs, and I know how to do it, and I can help yeah. you set up um, how it would be on your end. So there, because it's your book and all that. So just letting you know that that's that's available to you if at some point you want to um, explore it. I appreciate that, Chris. And one one thing I absolutely do intend to do, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna think about that some more. Okay. One thing I absolutely intend to do is, um, in part of my kindness from the heart um, initiative and and, and um, work, I I'm going to take some of those different things that were the kindnesses that were done and dig in a little bit deeper and kind of look at you know share a particular contribution and um, and I would really love to dig deeper because I, I love that whole ripple effect thing right and I, I mean I would love to talk with my dentist and see, you know, okay, what's the rest, you know, Paul Harvey, if you're old enough to remember Paul Harvey and the rest of the story. Um, I would love to right. know what happened after that happened. So, right. you know, is, is it possible to speak with this woman kind of anonymously and see the difference that maybe it made in her life? Or, you know, I'll talk to Mark um, Affleck about the, the post that he did and, and what was the response in people um, starting to think about creating a legacy of kindness and, and, and what did he see, you know, took place. And, you know, like I mentioned that I really think that with any, with any um, kindness, there's this positive energy that's released. And again, we don't know the the ripple impact and how, how far it's going to go, how far and wide, how many generations it can really change people's perceptions of self and how maybe they grow up to parent their own children because of a kindness that was shown to them you know, when they were a child or at a, at a rough point in time. Um, but I also think too, you know, if, what if we didn't take the time to do that kindness? What if we didn't give a kind word to that clerk at the grocery store that was completely stressed out? And, you know, if, if she went then on then, you know, from a kindness paid to her in a really tough time to, um, be much happier and, um, you know, the ripple effect that might have had for her. What if we didn't do that? And, you know, things just kind of continued in the darkness phase. And so what I'm, what I'm saying is that, you know, if we don't do that, that even small act, what, what what's lost? Right. What didn't ripple out because we didn't do that? So, you know, I, I would just love to, and I'm going to take um, some of those different contributions, talk to the people that contributed and just say, what happened, you know, after that? And, um, yeah, so I'll we'll share bits and pieces of that as well, you know, through LinkedIn and, and through my website. And um, but I, I do love the book idea as well. And and I really do want people to just take that, you know, use this idea, take it, if there's, take it, use it, um, make it yours. I'm happy to help in any way that I can. Um, right, because the the book with with all this, and you can show it to people, like you said, it's like it's 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 an explosive ripple yeah. <laughs> it's like you're you're like each book somebody sitting down saying i'm going to put this together as a gift because i love that too right you're putting it as mm -hmm. a gift it's literally like a hurricane you know you're, you're yeah. it's it's massive it's not even a ripple at that point like it's a wave like each person is definitely going i see this book you know i'm going to be a part of the book or i'm going to mm -hmm. this or that it's like it's literally there's there's a wave there yeah. massive wave when somebody steps up and being a part of it or designing it. so um, the easier you can show that to people and how easy it is, which it really is if you have intention uh -huh. uh, and you are, you've already done all the hard work, like, you know, it just takes somebody wanting to do it. Um, so I think it's a beautiful, it's absolutely beautiful. I love the idea of, um, you know, talking to some of these people and exploring these stories further. Uh -huh. I think that's a brilliant a way to, you know, share that one kindness and then to be able to, that way you share the book, you yeah. share the journey. And then the aftermath can continue showing that, you know, everything's sprinkling out. So anyways, this has been awesome, Jenny. And we just to let everybody know that we are going to do a, um, a part two where we're going to bring your mom in. Yeah. So I'm really excited. We, we uh, Jenny and I, before we, we've been talking about this, but we both agreed, agreed it's going to happen. So we, we've officially, we don't have a date, but we're going to hopefully do it sooner than later. It'll be on a Thursday after her mother does her hair. 
After seeing um, another hair appointment, yeah, not not before. I can't do it before that. Yeah, so um, we'll, we'll do a number two. But before we uh, sign off here, do you, if you could just tell people the best places to reach out to you, they'd like to connect with you. Yeah, absolutely. So um, the website is Kindness from the Heart. Um, it's under construction. There's just a landing page right now. Um, and and then LinkedIn is really, um, I'm on Instagram too. Um, need to get a little bit more active with that. But uh, LinkedIn is, is one of the best the best places as well. And um you know, there's there's just one one other thing that I want to share is you know with kindness from the heart it is to me, um, I love quotes. Yeah, I just think I shared I've shared this with you before. I really love quotes, and and besides helping to inspire kindness and in, in wanting people to think about kindness and creating a legacy of kindness, um, I also wanted to shine a light on what people are doing around kindness, right? And so there's a quote that I love. It's from um, Edith Wharton, and it says, there are two ways to spread light, be a candle or be the mirror that reflects it. And so my, my goal is to both be that, that candle and the mirror that's reflecting. Uh, there's a lot, of, a lot of good things that people are doing in the world to help, help make it a kinder place. And so, yeah. I love that. I, I feel like I, uh, we're, we're kindred spirits, and that's how I feel about gratitude and I, uh, I want to be the candle and the reflection and obviously, uh, you know, practicing gratitude every day and then inspiring space for people to breathe and feel in that gratitude. Uh, it's very simpatico yeah. experience. So, yeah. Yeah. So, so this has been wonderful. Um, thank you so much, Jenny. I'm so excited to uh, share the next chapter of our story and your mother together, which is going to be awesome. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, We've got endless opportunities to talk to amazing people and share stories of gratitude and kindness. And maybe maybe that's what the, steri- the series should be, stories yeah. of gratitude and kindness. Or kindness and gratitude. I don't have to have gratitude first. <laughs> no, I'm too, but my passion, I'm, I mean, gratitude is just right up there with kindness with me. With, the, with my gratitude practice the past, the past year and especially the past couple of months. I mean, they, they are, they're just, I, I, can't, I can't divide the two. So I'm, I'm happy to, to uh, dig into to either one. Okay. Well, excellent. Well, uh, I'm Chris with Jenny. Just reminding me, you all have a lot to be grateful for, and we will see you again very soon.